Right then, so let's have a look at this one. So it says, K has an equation y equals x e to the x over 2. Show that it has a single point of inflection and state the exact coordinates at this point. Right, so I'm going to use the product rule now, aren't I? Because I've got I've got one bit multiplied by another bit. So if I do the product rule, so it's the first bit multiplied by the second bit differentiated plus the second bit multiplied by the first bit differentiated. I should do these brackets, shouldn't I? So the times is. So dy by dx is, now if I take out the e to the x over 2 as a factor, I've got a half x plus 1 e to the x over 2. So if I differentiate again now, so I'm going to do d2y by dx squared, I've got product rule again. So first bit, a half x plus 1. Second bit differentiated, a half e to the x over 2. Then second bit multiplied by the first bit differentiated. All right, so what can I do here? Hmm. Right. Maybe if I can tie it up. I can take out the e as a common factor. I've got a half times that, so I've got a quarter x plus a half. So that's this bit I've kind of dealt with. And then I've got this half here to deal with. Uh, so that's going to be plus a half. And I've got e to the x over 2. So my d2y by dx squared is going to be a quarter x plus 1 e to the x over 2. There we go, that looks all right. So that's my d2y by dx squared. So a point of inflection is when d2y by dx squared is equal to 0. So my quarter x plus 1 e to the x over 2 is equal to 0. So if I take the first bit, I've got a quarter x plus 1 is 0. Take the 1 over, multiply 3 by 4, I get minus 4. And then the e to the x over 2 is 0. So that has no solution, as e to the x over 2 is always greater than 0. So I've got it now, so I've got... So it's got a single point of inflection, so therefore a single point of inflection. State the exact coordinate. Well, actually, how do I'm not actually showing it is a single point of inflection yet. So let's just try on either side of it. So let's try minus 3. And if you put that into d2y by dx squared, you get 0 0.055. Then let's try minus 5. Which would really be minus 5, minus 3, shouldn't it? Okay. So d2y by dx squared is minus 0 0.02. So I've got one bit which is less than 0, and one bit which is greater than 0. So I've got a sign change. Therefore, the point of inflection is that x is minus 4. So I've proved I've got a single point of inflection. Now I'm just trying to get the exact coordinates. So when x is minus 3, oh, I've put 4 there. That is 4, isn't it? So when x is minus 4, y was minus 4 e to the minus 4 over 2. So y is minus 4 e to the minus 2. So my coordinate is minus 4 and then minus 4 e to the minus 2. There we go. Phew, done. So I think that's that lesson done, the second lesson. Yeah. But I think after that, all the other videos are fine. All the old videos, I think they're okay. Right, bye bye.